Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today I'm gonna take you on a little college day in the life. So I'm heading out to get breakfast. It's about 10.30 a.m. I have class, Italian class at 10.45 a.m. So I'm gonna try the like uh, breakfast place here. Um, Sichuan, I'll show you the, I'll show you like a close up of it. But I'm gonna try breakfast and then I'm gonna quickly head to college so I could attend my lecture. This is really good. So that it's easy to reply and it gives you confidence. So it's about 1.20 p.m. Today is Orange Shirt Day, uh, Truth and Reconciliation for Indigenous People in the residential schools. Um, so I just attended the like little event with Candy. Uh, I've been to like some of her events before. So yeah, it was just like sad hearing about some of the stories that like it, like indigenous people have gone through in the residential schools. Um, very sad. And yeah, so I'm wearing the orange shirt that I got a couple days ago at the gift shop. And so yeah, so it's almost or it's like getting close to 2.30, which is the deadline for my Italian secret student blog that I have to do. So I have to do that now, and then I'm gonna grab lunch and try the pho at the pho Vietnamese place um, at the Skymark Plaza. So I gotta do my secret student blog first. It's now 2.40. I just finished my secret student blog post. Now I'm gonna head over to Pho Vietnamese to get some lunch. So I just got the shredded chicken and Viet sausage noodle soup, which is Pho, so I'm gonna try it now. It looks like this. Mm. This is like garnish and sauce. And then I think you gave me rice with it because this looks like a lot of food. Oh, so the, that's what it looks like. And then I think this is rice. Let me see. Do, do, do. Oh, it's just some garnish. Okay, cool. So I am going to try it. Oh, it's really hot. Oh my God, it's so good. I love this. I love the soup broth. Mm, this tastes so good. And then he gave me like the noodles in here. So I guess I put it in. There we go. I was wondering why, like how he got the food ready so fast. Cause there's only that, there's only one man doing it. And you know when like you go into a place or like you go somewhere and you're like meant to be there at that moment. I felt that way in the pho Vietnamese because once I got in, I heard Michael Jackson, like the song on the radio. I wanna rock with you all night. And then the second song that I heard was Brian Adams' Summer of 69. Um, Summer of 69, Jimmy Quick, Jimmy got married. And like, if you know me, I am a huge Michael Jackson fan. And then I also grew up listening to Brian Adams and like Shania Twain. So, and plus they're a Canadian. So my mom had like those CDs, Brian Adams and Shania Twain. So I, like as a kid, I listened to them all the time. So like, I felt I was supposed to be in that store at that time. 
and the guy was so cute he bowed when he gave me like the food so cute and like he got it ready so fast like like as i said before like he was the only one there so mm. oh it tastes so good sometimes i don't like pho because i don't know it's just like the way they make it and they don't cook this stuff all the way but this looks cooked and then i just want to say like asian like restaurants or like owners they always think of everything so this guy he had these two in like the bag and he even had the cardboard so like it doesn't like fall through in the plastic when you're carrying it and then he also like tied this at the top and then he made like this huge like like hole where i could hold on to it so like they always think of everything they're so like courteous so i'm eating my pho here at the park behind the parking lots it's a very cute little park and i also want to show you that you can also see the college from here right here see it's right behind the parking lots so now it's 3 53 p.m i'm going to go get some bubble tea and dinner from another restaurant over by the Skymark Plaza and then I'm going to go back to college because I have to do my Italian vlog and my Italian post so I know I just got lunch but I'm gonna eat the dinner later I'm just gonna get it now though so it's 4 40 p.m. I got the passion fruit lychee I think bubble tea or like tea from presto tea i gotta go back because i had like you know those toys like when you're a kid where you pay like two dollars and you like can get a little toy like a little vending machine sort of they had hello kitties and i had them when i was a kid and i didn't have any change on me and td td bank was closed so i wasn't able to get one but next time i will get some so yeah i'm gonna try this hmm I love passion fruit and lychee, really good. Mm. And the bobo sugar too. Salve, mi chiamo Rose Fernandez. Welcome to vlog 4. So for dinner, I got curry chicken. So this is the sauce. So this is what the food looks like, chicken rice and then some vegetables underneath and then they gave the sauce separately which is kind of weird i thought they would have like put it in with the chicken but yeah that's what it looks like so i am gonna try the chicken sorry that it's dark out but it's like late mm. the chicken is good it's just that it's hard to like eat it to eat. It tastes like fried chicken and then just with like sauce on it. So not the best. I thought curry chicken would be like the sauce would be cooked with it not separately. Now let me try the rice. Mm. The rice is plain. It tastes okay. Let me try the veggies because I love cucumber. Mm. It has a little bit of like sauce on it. It tastes good. Mm. This isn't the best meal, but it's okay. So, story time. Which the story just like happened. So, oh, there's a pesky mosquito, of course, in the nighttime. So, I was sitting on my usual spot, like on the hill of this park where I normally like eat sometimes to like just, I guess, de stress, just be by myself and sometimes wait for the bus at the same time. But sometimes I just come here to like sit and eat. To like get out of the senior of school and like basically de stress. Okay, so I was sitting on the hill and I saw this guy like um, walking his dog, right? Because like, there's like a path. So he was walking his dog, he was taking like he was coming to the path near me where I'm on the hill and his dog wasn't stopping. He just kept like walking while I was stopping sometimes, but the guy kept like looking back and forth at me and I was just like sipping my oh, there's a mosquito trying to my nose. So I was like sipping my uh, drink, just like awkwardly because I was like waiting for him to go so I could like film me trying this food and not be like weird about it and awkward like with someone watching me because like I'm such an introvert and yeah, I just feel like when you're, film when you're trying to film and like people are just like watching you, it's kind of awkward and because like some people, they don't mind their own business, they just like stare, so yeah, I don't like that, so um, so I was sitting on the hill and 
like he wasn't gonna be moving anytime soon and I have things to do like I have to edit this video I have to wake up tomorrow so I have to get all home so I was like waiting for a long time and then it became too long where I was like okay I'm just gonna go like find a different spot in the park and just like sit on the grass and eat this and try this and have dinner and so I went to a different spot and then not even like as i'm sitting down i only sat down for like 10 seconds this man is apparently walking his dog and he immediately like walks his dog towards me and i'm like because i left the hill spot because i left because he just sat down like he he like walked his dog near me and then he just sat down right beside me and on that hill nobody ever sits there so i know that he was just like waiting for me or like wanting to watch me um i have no idea who this guy is i have never met him i don't know if he knows me from somewhere else so yeah so i so the guy immediately went by and then i'm just like dude like come on like i want to have my dinner you know i didn't say that to him but like i i was just like okay i'm just gonna watch him now just watch where he goes because that's what he was doing to me so i watch him and then he just goes down the path and then i can see him like in the playground right now like it's only me here and then him in the park so it's getting a little creepy but um i just finished the dinner so now i'm just like waiting for the bus now i can still see him um and i think he's gonna go down that path and then yeah okay um but yeah it's just super creepy like i don't know i just don't like being watched or followed like i can tell when i'm being followed you know like you can you can tell when someone's like watching you or when they're like not actually like he isn't actually he's walking his dog but like i feel like that's an excuse so yeah i just wanted to like say all of this and like let it out a little bit so i'm gonna go head on home now because i don't even know what time it is um but i have to head on home because it's getting dark and i'm the only one in this park and it's getting a little creepy so I'm gonna head on home. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I wanted to show like the food that you can get around Seneca College, like at the Skymark Plaza. I think that's what it's called. I saw the sign a couple of times. Skymark Place or whatever. It's kind of dark. I can see the sign right here. But I hope you enjoyed that type of video and like college day in my life, even though classes are online still and the campus is open, but it's like you have to social distance, you have to wear your mask and um, yeah, I just wanted to show you like foods around the college in case you're wondering like which foods are good and Yeah, I hope you liked it. I really tried and Yeah, I'll see you guys in another video. I am gonna head on home because I Like I'm like being alone in a park or when it's dark out and I also have to head home So I will see you guys later. Thanks for watching if you made it this far and yeah, I'm gonna try to come up with like more college videos. Oh, there's so many mosquitoes. I hate getting bitten by mosquitoes. Oh. But, oh yeah, also I wanted to say that because Seneca College is up north, um, when I leave college, I'm just sometimes late if I'm doing my like, school and if I'm editing. And if there's like a lot of school work that I have to get done, so I just like stay for a lot of hours or like most of the day. So I always, like when I stay late, oh my gosh, there's a fire truck. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in another video.